Joe, lovely to meet you and congratulations on the film, which I've got to say, I've really enjoyed. You saw it for the first time on the big screen just recently at the premiere. What was it like seeing it with an audience? Well, it, it was actually great. I didn't see all of it because I had other interviews to do and I was in and out, but the sort of response was just wonderful. We did a Q and A at the end and everybody was so wonderful. The questions were great. People have been really enthusiastic and kind about the film. And, and that makes me very happy because, you know, we made that film with all the love in our heart and good intentions and it's Marley's first feature. So it was a great honor and privilege to be part of it and such an amazing cast and crew really. And uh, we did, we did what we could. So the audience reaction is amazing for us to, to have that. It's so good. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. I'm, I've got to say, it's a very nicely observed comedy, as well as being very touching. Was that the reason that you were attracted to the film and to your part in particular? Absolutely. I was, so, I, I mean, I, I, I got off the role, I read the script and then I asked, could I meet up with Marley and Michelle, our producer? I thought the script was super witty. I thought it touched on some great and important um, topics. And I also found that my character wasn't just the mum, she had her own experience with her own sort of falling in love in a little way and experience with a magician. And she had a parallel experience to AJ. And that's why in the end they figured it out because they realized they're both just human beings trying to navigate personal relationships and, and live in, in harmony with each other. This whole generational difference of perception and you know it's a mum who's you know struggling with financial insecurity she's been a single mum for a while she's got three different daughters she wants to do her best she loves them all absolutely the same and um she's trying to navigate their personalities plus bring them up and and have her own experience as a woman so that's what really brought me to, to the experience and also that Marley had had some of her own personal experience in it I thought it was very brave and um, I love to be on people's first feature film it's one of it's an experience not to be missed really so yeah it's quite an honor actually when it's their first one it is it really is and Marley's super smart and going places we will really be working together again on another thing we've already talked about ideas but I just loved Marley's energy, very smart, really authentic. She loved This Is England. She had great taste in movies and she was a big fan of, of the show and, you know, was kind to me and uh, explained to me why she wanted me to do it. And I believed her and it was all about us just going off, having this experience, finding the truth and entertaining people, trying not to tell the audience what to think or do, but just allowing them to have an experience like we did, you know. And you mentioned AJ, who's the teenager at the centre of the story, is you, one of your, your other daughters, played by Nell Barlow. Um, how did you develop that relationship on screen together? Because despite all the arguments, you're actually very close, really. Yeah, we are. We are. She's beautiful. What an amazing actress. First feature film. And uh, I've been to see, Marley invited me to Nell's One Woman show and I went to, to see it. Um, I just sort of connected with her really well from early on we did a lot of texting and calling on our own we were both really interested actors so we're we're into the preparation of it we did a lot of talking we spoke to Marley and um, we spent a lot of time together and as the the film progressed throughout the experience we become became closer we shared ideas with each other we listened to each other I learned so much from her as well she has a lot of humility and she's um she's a really wonderful actress she's very invested in the roles that she plays and I find that attractive and um you know inspiring so we just kind of talked a lot and we shared ideas we got I had a playlist a music playlist she talked to me about her prep I'd seen her tape which was amazing I just knew she had something special and when you commit to something it's a bit you know like uh, I guess just you, you don't have to worry about the outcome but you just have to commit to it and have that same primary purpose and that's what we did have all of us so I think we just connected on the love of it really and, and the, the enjoyment of the experience and um, yeah just just wonderful it's just just a little bit magical really it was it's great I think I think roles find you I think uh, Jim Carrey said that but yeah. I genuinely have had a great career and I've worked very hard and it's not always been easy I've not always been told yes you know and but I've always persisted and believed in myself and I I, I really I think that was a little bit of what AJ had. And I also think, you know, it, it, it really, um, 
I don't know, it resonated with me as well, you know, her character. And I really, I really loved what, what she did with it. So I was able to just put yourself around good people and it makes you look yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> Rubs off on you. Just respond. <laughs> Now, actually, you talked about your career and, and you are a very familiar face on TV and in cinema as well, comedy, drama, the whole range. You're normally in a supporting role. Is yeah. that the way you like it, actually being sort of like one step removed from the limelight, as it were? Well, I've just actually played um, a lead role in, in Swede Caroline as well, which is, a, a, a Kellen Jones said it's a titular role, which is my name's in the title, which yeah. is, I didn't know that was great. But no, I guess, I guess, again, you know, you get offered a role, you do your best with it, you respond to the, the actual, um, the, the, the material, I never really look how big a role is, I have a look at the challenges and the risks and the experience that I'm going to have as an actor, whether it's something different technically, like in my skin, you know, whether it's using a different sort of technique, or whether it's just a group of people I'll be working with, sorry about that, and I'm going to have a great experience with them, or the script, but yeah, there's been a few leads and, and more supporting, but I think as my career moves on, then I'll get that opportunity to, to carry more of these shows and I like to do a variety of things based on the actual story and the people that I'm working with. It's never about the money or the size of the role for me. It's going to be about the experience and how it can challenge me as a person. I'm just hoping Sweet Caroline gets a release soon because, of course, the song's taken on a whole new life of its own recently, hasn't it? It has. But, you know, they've got to grab the moment for this one. I know, we've just gone in the edit. So it's my first ex executive producing role as well, which is fun. So it was nice to be part of that creative process, oh pre-production and post. But we literally just wrapped last Sunday and I, I'm, I'm exhausted. I've just got, got through a week of, of press and sweetheart and it's been exciting. So that's kept me going, but we'll get into the edit soon and I'll, and I'll keep you posted. But I've got good feeling about it, you know? Def definitely looking forward to that one then. I mean, it sounds like you're really close to it being exec producer as well as playing the, the lead role. So fingers crossed for that. It's been lovely yeah. to talk to you, Joe. I'm sorry we haven't got more time to be quite honest, but thank you oh, so much for your time. Really enjoyed, sweetheart, and look forward to your next one as well. Thank you so much, Frida. What a pleasure to meet you. And let's do another one for Swede. Yeah, definitely. Yay. It's It's a date. <laughs> <laughs>